guys welcome back to Joe tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to enable or disable the internet explorer mode from your microsoft edge browser right so go ahead and click the windows icon here and you want to search for edge browser or if you have it pinned you'll be able to see it here just like i do go ahead and open up that now once you do on the top right hand side you want to click on these three dots that will take you into the options here and you want to go ahead and click settings now once you do that go ahead and click default browser from the left hand side and this will take you into the capabilities for default browser now there are a few options here you can also make microsoft edge your default browser but we are focusing under the section that it says internet explorer capabilities now if you want to go ahead and enable that all you have to do is just basically click on this default option here and you want to click allow now once you click allow all those sites will be reloaded into internet explorer and as you can see it will ask you to reload or restart your microsoft edge browser to have that capability enabled right so you can always go ahead and disable it as well or you can leave it as default but if it is something that you need to enable you want to go ahead and allow it and restart your edge as well you also realize here that you have the internet explorer mode for pages you can always go ahead and add that as well if you so desire and as you can see here it says these pages will be open in internet explorer mode for 30 days from the date when you add it in the pages right so that's basically how you go ahead and do that guys really hope you found this useful as surprising surprising there are still some websites out there that you really have to load within Internet Explorer in order to view all of those capabilities because they're simple and compatible with those latest browsers, right? So if you really need this, you can simply come here and allow it. And once you do, just go ahead, restart it, and that will be enabled within your Microsoft Edge browser. Now guys, I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful. And if you do, go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're seeing the channel for the first time, well, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo, and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community. And also, so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much and see you next time.